Ben here with another video for you. Today I'm just going to explain a little bit about my saw blades on the sawmill. How I get them in and I open them up and uh, exactly what I do with them. Now when you get a new saw blade, they come in a bundle. Mine come wrapped up like this. Okay. Now my blades for my sawmill are 10 and a half foot long. When they come I open them up and they're kind of spring loaded here, right? So I've cut myself pretty good on these a few times and I'm sure other people that have similar sawmills have done the same. When you open them up, if you don't control them, they fly all over. First thing I recommend is wearing a pair of gloves. I just wanted to show you when you open these saw blades up, they're spring loaded here. What I do is I open them up so far and you can see kind of the two ends on where they want to fly open at. What I do is I take the saw blade and I set it down on my boot. I take my hands and I readjust. I have them tension on my boot so I have one hand free. I have my other hand holding it. I grab the other end of this loop so I have both loops in my hands now. You can tell where the saw blade wants to flip open at. Okay. So all I'm doing now is I'm just going to slowly open this up while well, I still have control of it. Now the teeth might dig into my boot a little bit, but all I do is open this up. I let the far end fly out away from me, nice and slow. Comes out away from me. And then I just open my hands up and the saw blade's open. Okay, put the saw blade on the saw. Take the saw blade off the saw. My the teeth of the blade come down on my top of my boot. Now, I push out away and twist both my hands in towards each other at the same time. Okay, so you twist them into each other and you just kind of overlap your hands and your blade folds right up. Okay, and then where'd my little piece of wire go I had here? Well, I lost my little piece of wire, but I'll find it later. Get another one here. I have a couple of saw blades here. I'm going to take and fold them up just to show you how I do it. And I'm going to put them in a box. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ship these saw blades out and have someone else sharpen them up. Now all together, when I first started, I started off with one blade on the sawmill when I bought it, and I bought 10 spares. And I went through and I sharpened those spares, and I made a few mistakes where I dug in a little bit on the uh, the curve of the tooth there. And when I did that, I had a couple of them snap on me. I ordered a set of five, a set of 10, and a set of 20. So all together, I should have 36 blades, and I think I broke three, maybe four of them. So I've got roughly 30 blades in my circulation here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run roughly 15 of them dull and then I'm going to take them off and have them sharpened and I'm going to run the other 15 and then switch them out. So to send these out in the mail or to package them up, I'm not sure where I'm going with them yet, but if I find a guy to sharpen them locally it would be best, I can just take them to them in the box or if I'm taking them out and sending them in the mail, I'll send them out the same way I got them which is curled up in a nice little loop. So since I'm here doing it, I just figured I'd share with you and me run these into a the loop. So here's the dull saw blade. Now, something I didn't mention before was I would try to put the teeth away from you. So if it does come up and smack you, you're not getting hit with the teeth. So the teeth being away from you, all you're going to do is you bring them to you a little bit. You wrap your hands in so that you can twist them away from you. You put the top down and you bring your two hands together. And that kind of gives you like a figure eight shape. And it just goes together nice. Just take a piece of wire. I wrap a piece of wire around this to hold it together while shipping it. Or transporting it, however you want to say it. And then you have a nice little tie on there. Nice stable blade. Put the blade in the bottom. And then you're on to the next one. The next blade, same thing. I put it on the top of my boot, teeth facing away from me, wrap my hands around the inside of the blade, bend the top of the blade down away from you, 
hands together. The leg goes right together. Put a piece of wire on it. Blade the box. Next blade. Same thing. On top of the boot, hands the inside, flip away from you, twirl it together. I use wire for on my saw blades, but you could use, you know, tie wrap from garbage can, bags, or anything you got laying around. Flip it away. These are little ties that they came on, little garbage bag ties. Use them or a piece of wire, whatever you have laying around handy. Last one I've got. And there you go, nice and handy. Now, I've got a cardboard box and my blades came in. And I've got my blades, I've got, I've got seven there in a the box. I'm gonna send out and have sharpened up. And here's my box of new blades. I just got an order of 20 of them in. I think there's somewhere around 15 of them or so left in this box yet. I had two boxes, a total of 20, 10 in each box. I took a couple out. But, uh, yep, there's my saw blade. So there's my new ones. Box of new ones ready to go on the sawmill whenever I'm ready for them. And my box of old ones out there by the sawmill. I'm going to send out and have them sharpened.